Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Flamingo. So if you have been following our Blazor authentication series, you have probably sometime encountered a, a problem and then you got this error for authentication and it actually doesn't show you the error, but if you know where to look, you see up here that the actual error is up here. So today we're gonna look about fixing this. And by the way, if you haven't checked out my series, I'm gonna link it down below. And as always, all the code is link down below so make sure to check out the description so all right we're gonna close this and we're gonna get started in how to fix it so first we're gonna open the authentication dot razor so basically this is where it's get gets redirector and everything happens here and uh we're gonna copy some code and then i'm gonna go over what it does So in here, what we're doing is we change this to basically have the flag. So this automatically checks if it was a login fail based on the action. And then we get the error from the uh, URL where it says message and we put it in our error message string up here. And then we're just going to say there's an error and all that stuff. So in here there we have to install this. So let's see if it recommends installing. No, so we're going to go to the Nougat packages here in our client application. And we're going to install. The web utilities. And while that installs, I'm just going to go over this. So like there is a login fail, but there's other ones you can use. So like there is the callback which is a normal um so that's when like the user is completing the login there is logout and all of and logout fail and all this other ones that you can add so you could just kind of like stack them like one under the other inside the remote authentication and depending on the thing you can show different stuff to the user to make it more user friendly and you can actually parse the error message and specific errors. You can show different things, but uh, that's up for you to decide. And here, I'm just showing you how to do the basics. So now we're gonna run it and we're gonna log in with an error. So now we can see that it's actually displaying the error for the user. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.